This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. Hello and welcome to Hit or Glitch, a podcast where we explore the multiverse of geek culture and experiment with rules and systems. This season, we are exploring a galaxy far, far away. Welcome back again. After devising a plan to free the natives, our intrepid protagonist set out to unseat the Twi'lek Khan Laroon. As they got into position, the crew of the Hydean Cipher arrived and attempted to close a deal with Khan. While spinning a web of lies, Kaz backed the Gonquin war chief into a corner and was challenged to a duel. Meanwhile, Jekt and Beva snuck into the power plant, and sitting in Overwatch is Slur and Growluck. Can they make it out of this? <laughs> Jekt, you have initiative at 44. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Exploding dice, how fun. It's, it's literally out of all the sessions that we've done, one of the rare times my dice have exploded. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's and it's like in the turn that he's going to be throwing explosives. <laughs> <laughs> Which is appropriate. He finally did what he's supposed to do. Start chucking him. Yeah, by the way, I'm ambidextrous. <laughs> okay. So he's throwing No! <laughs> Two are going at once, Yeah. Okay, what you you said you were gonna you gonna be using a mix of stun and smoke? No, these are just stun for right now. Okay. I, I, what did you give Beva? Two more stun. Okay. The smoke is if we've got a bail. Like I have some smoke ready, but we're not gonna use smoke in here because the last thing I need to do is detract from what's going on out there, possibly with big billowing smoke coming from the power station. Okay. So I uh, basically I'm gonna reach around, close the door, <laughs> and just chuck them out. And I, I want to throw them in the areas where I know I'm going to hit the most well, people on a single throw. It's because you can't make two attacks. Basically, what I'm going to allow you to do is to attempt to space them out in such a way as to get the most coverage of the room. All right, I'll take that. So basically, you're throwing them equidistant apart so that, in theory, uh, the blast radius is... Doubled. Yeah, won't overlap very much. Yeah. But man, that one guy who's standing... And what, the, what is the blast radius on these? Um, I believe that they're a blast of... Let's see. Stun. I think it's five. I'm not 100% sure here. Okay. We're going to look it up. That sounds right. But yeah, let's look it up. And stun yep, blast five. pipe. All right. So you're looking to cover 10 meters. Yeah. 30 feet. Or the boom. <laughs> that will basically cover the whole pit. Okay. This is happening. And it's going to be huge. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's going to be dexterity, athletics, throwing. And we're going to subtract three. What's my... Oh, because I'm trying to throw them equidistant. Yeah. And since I really don't want to deal with anybody getting any wise ideas, I'm going to use a little willpower to make sure that I have the biggest, flashiest, most special display. Okay. Because this is the first and one of the very few times grenades have been used in our game, and I want to make it special. Four. And it's one blashing plus two. Yep. Uh, did you roll, roll one extra die for that one bashing? Because that's how that works there. Five. Nice. Plus the two. The two is automatic damage. Yes. So plus seven. seven. And it has knockdown and stun. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. They're not bodies. They're still alive. Yeah, nobody's dying. Here. They're still bodies. If, if, if you're going to play any song in the background as I flip up in two stun grenades, it's going to be... Ring my bell. Oh, Ring my bell. <laughs> I think not. Simply because it's high-pitched like that. Yeah, I can't really do it very well. Okay. No, no one managed to get nine successes on their uh, 
Stamina. What is it? Stamina roll or? Stamina uh, resolve. Resolve. That's so ragged. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that dropped pretty much all of us. Yeah, you're like, whoop. Step back again. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> What a blast. Is there anybody still up? No. <laughs> I'm going to let go of Diva and take the two grenades that I gave her and put them back. <laughs> well, you can wait to do that. Because right now you probably have an erection again. <laughs> I can't do you over my throbbing erection. <laughs> Sterling Archer. You can still, <laughs> you can hear my throbbing erection over that generator right now. <laughs> All right. Kaz at 32. What's next? I pull out my chain, and I look at him, and I just say, I don't want to fight you. You and your people have honored my grandfather. I merely wish my birthright. Just uh, in an attempt to, I'm taking a defensive position, but it was in an attempt to make him look bad in front of his people and maybe secure them to my side kind of action. Okay, it's going to be manipulation persuasion. Okay. You're going to get a plus one from the pheromones that Zidane is pumping out. Okay. Yeah. Zidane's over there playing Smell Smell Revolution. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to hit the right emotion at the right time. Five. Come on. <laughs> What's up? He can't lie to me, but he can lie his pants off to everybody else. I did take a rank of subterfuge between the time I lied to you and the time I got up here. My training worked. <laughs> <laughs> you are my Yoda of lies. <laughs> uh, I can't hear you over my massive erection inside of the generator room. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm being honest. I don't want to fight the guy. I'll get my ass kicked. The old woman touches his elbow. It would not be seemly to kill a man, his birthright. If you're going if you insist on fighting him, you'll fight him the traditional way. And he looks back at her and turns off the lightsaber. Is that like Chinese checkers or <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the way that you were seeing the kids fight? Headbutting Butting heads. <laughs> <laughs> you do have horns, right? <laughs> I do have yeah. horns. <laughs> Not as big as his. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and this isn't this isn't like a penis joke thing. It's not how you use them that's gonna matter right now. This is all about the size. Oh, just but, but he's got more. <laughs> he, he might fit between the two. <laughs> Slur. I have no idea what's going on. I can't hear any of this. No, he didn't turn on his comm link, so even if you had yours still, you wouldn't hear it. Which this. is the one I didn't turn on. So here's what I'm going to do. You saw the lightsaber turn off? You saw the lightsaber well, turn you off. You saw him turn around, turn it on, and then... You saw me that. pull out my chain, and then you saw him turn off his lightsaber. So I could... For all you know, I could have intimidated the fuck out of him, and he's afraid to fight me. Well, things seem to be going somewhere. Okay. And a bunch of the crowd's people are bowing down to me. Yeah, that's... Uh, no, at this point, they, they, they're, they, they are clean. beginning to make sort of an arena. Mm. Circle. Ah, uh, this just got kind of heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good time to smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Best use of a combat round ever. <laughs> Let me do drugs. Kids, don't do drugs. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just going to pop a, pop a smoke and take an aim action. All right. Aiming at the Admiral? Mm, no, I'm going to take an aim at the Twi'lek. Okay. Because that's the guy that was in the ship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I recognize his he head. He doesn't give a shit if I get my ass kicked. He wants his shit. <laughs> yes, yes I do. And that's what drugs do to you kids. It makes you value possessions over friends. I never that's said we true. were friends. That's true. I know people who sold their TV for math. Yeah. All right. Clips the lightsaber to his belt, bellows out in rage, and charges you. What is your defense? Uh, 
Currently, because I did say I was staying in the defensive action and have the chain out, it is going to be a seven. Nice. Wow. And I have one armor burst bashing. So eight dice. Because of iron skin. Plus two for the all out attack. Bravo. Bravo. Minus eight. Minus eight. <laughs> nice. You just took away almost his whole dice pool. Question. Since I have my chain out and I have not attacked and he's running at me, can I do, even though he's trying to hit me with his head, it's just a weapon or melee attack, can I use the hand bind and bind him up in the chain? It's basically, I make an attack roll, and if my success is, his success is on his attack roll, I bind have him bind, bound in the chain. Yes. Okay, I will be doing that as he approaches. Is, and yours is penalized by his defense as normal? And he's actually going to spend a point of willpower. Okay, so we have determined that does not. The defense does not penalize the roll. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's excessive to it. Yes. So go ahead and roll. Doesn't he lose dice equal to the number of successes this guy gets? No, he has to beat his successes. Oh, uh, gotcha. I have three successes. He also has three. So basically, I don't bind him, but he doesn't hit me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you you don't hold the horns, but you do manage to stop it and sort of turn it to the side. Okay, good enough. <sighs> Wish I had my comic right now. I'll be placing bets. <laughs> <laughs> Against me, no doubt. Yeah. You hear the barrel start spinning. What is he going to fire on? Her. It's a her. Oh. I thought the... Oh, the Yuzum is a girl. What is she going to fire on? She hasn't decided yet. <laughs> but if the barrels aren't spinning, she can't fire. <laughs> the given takes cover inside the ship, draws his left. <laughs> this looks dangerous. Yep. Uh, one of the weak way is he, like, immediately blasts her in his hand. Is the, ex like, uh, stun grenade explosions audible? Yes. At this point? Okay, so that's why they're all drawing weapons. Yes. Such. Gotcha. Yeah, it was not quiet. Yeah, I was kind of wondering because there, it's like, I mean, yeah, there's this fight going on here, but that's no reason for them to draw a weapon. But if they can hear the stun grenades, then yeah. Roll off. Mm, can I see what's going on over there? Like, I can see that they formed a ring around. Yeah, you can, from your angle, you have, like, you don't have sight on what's actually, you don't have sight of the fight. Yeah. But you do have sight that something's going on there. Like, you're better positioned to wipe out the crowd. Yeah. Then and or anymore. to cover the door of the factory. All right. Because this is happening on the yeah. side of the cathedral rather than out front. Is anybody in between me and the cathedral? Like, are they all, is this whole thing out in the middle in between, or are they off to the no, side? No, it's off to the side. So, yeah, I mean, if you wanted to make a dash for the cathedral, you could. That's really tempting right now. It's about a 30 meter run. Um, yeah, that'd be a two round thing. Well, remember running doubles your speed. Oh. I might be able to make that with a st strength. And sprinting running. would add a meter, basically, per hit. Per hit. Ooh, no, I wouldn't quite make it, but is it... Would, uh, like, from the door of the cathedral, would uh, the people in the other starship have a line on me? You don't know where they're at. I, I can't see the other ship? Maybe the front end of it. Okay. But without knowing where exactly they are on well, that side of the building. From where the gangplank would be. Would they um, probably not. If they were all by the gangplank, but no. And even if they did, they would be shooting through a bunch of people. Yep. Then I'm going to run for it. Because, I mean, luckily for you, the Gonquin are basically your size. Yeah. That, so, that does give me some cover. Rather than if it was a bunch of humans and you're standing on <laughs> shoulders above everybody. Yeah. They're all your height. So strength athletics? Yes. Uh, only one. But um, that'll put me 25 meters out of the 30. So I'll be only be 5 meters from the front door. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I have still have the shield out and the gun in the other hand, so the shield's on their side. <laughs> All right. 
Zidane, Zidane, what's he going to try to do? That's the question. <laughs> try to distract the people from me. Get to cover hope for you. Well, he's, he's bound. He's bound and <laughs> leashed. Yeah, he's in a... He's in a tight spot. <laughs> he's still tight getting spot. down. Damn, we're in a tight spot. <laughs> what does the kid say? What does it say? Yeah, I don't know what it says. Like we're going on vacation or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> my dad says you were on vacation something like that yeah are you in an OFT oh yeah we're gonna run off you run off um... that is definitely a good way to teach your kids how to spell when they're growing up you just... well, at least if you spell it correctly <laughs> yeah. yeah I think he's gonna have to try and slip his bombs Not good enough. He can try again next turn. But he does sort of duck down a little bit. Get low, get high, get down. The Nautilin makes a beeline for Zidane. Okay. Yes. Sam backs up the ramp. She draws her pistol as well. She doesn't go all the way up. She sort of gets in a position where her hand is on the back of the Yazim. And she appears to be going to be covering the flanks of the Yazim. They don't know what's going on, but they think that they're about to be targeted. Yep. <laughs> and unlike us, they back each other up. <laughs> <laughs> Beva glances over. And she's about to arm the grenades. And oh, hands them off to you. And uh, hops down the ladder that you guys are by into the pit. And heads over towards the generator. The other weak way, the one took cover behind the boarding ramp, and the other one runs towards the cathedral. Intercepted. And he has a rifle on his back. This is going to be funny. They open doors from the opposite side. Oh! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> what? What? The Blackford apprentice, Riva, you've heard her referred to, almost doesn't care about what's going on with between you and Admiral. And she takes off into the cathedral. Oh, through a side door. Yeah. It's kind of oh. fun. <laughs> Things are about to get interesting in my part my part of the country. Just had to run in there, didn't I? Well you're not in there yet. Yeah. Jacked. Well, if everything's clear. We gotta figure out how we're silently yes. gonna dismantle this some of it. You have very loudly knocked them the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> but not loud enough for the outside to hear. No, no, no everybody he outside said heard. everybody outside heard. That's why everyone's drawing weapons and running around. Oh, savage. Yes. So you may as well just use a couple island grenades to knock it out. I'm gonna have Beaver come back up, because it's time to go. How about you cover her while she sets this down? Unless, because you never said your plan was to blow it up. Well, yeah, now that I realize that, that was a little louder than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, no, my plan is a new... <laughs> yeah. Goddamn tinnitus. <laughs> no, I remember I turned it down the, the hearing in my helmet. <laughs> yeah, now that that's all said and done, there's no point in being subtle about this anymore. It's time to frag it and head out now. So I'm going to have her, I'm going to call for her to get back up. And, and you're just going to kill all the workers down there? Oh, good moral question. She's well, not going to let me do that. You'll, you'll only chose to lose one humanity. Don't do it. She's not going to let me frag this play. No. All right, yeah, I guess I'm covering her. So there's the door that we came in. Is there any other doors? Yes, there's a, a main door like for the workers to come into. And then there is another large door off to the other side opposite the small door you came in that is for uh, fuel to be brought in 